Hi, I'm Pastor Fred. Good to see you and hear from you. The sermon today, choices that help us heal. Well, in Jesus' most famous sermon called the Sermon on the Mount, he explains that the choices that help us heal, yeah, help us heal from all of those hurts, habits, and hangups we got, or all those things that seem to mess up our lives, this is from the Sermon on the Mount or the Beatitudes. This is it's in Matthew 5, in the first one. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of what? Kingdom of heaven. I got to ask a question. I've always wondered this. What does it mean to be poor in the spirit? Well, Jesus is simply saying, well, nobody gets into heaven full of pride in themselves. And that there's no room in their life for any God or Jesus or anything else. But how do we, we get there? Jesus is very simple about it. We get there by grace. And grace is that combination of love, joy, peace, and hope that works together. But it says we have to be poor in spirit. And that must mean what? you got to be humbly admit you need help. Well, it also says this. The truth will set you free. You've got to face the truth. Ooh, and what happens? Face the truth about yourself. Stop living in that word we hear, often, hear so often in every A-A-C-R-A-A. Start, stop living in denial. We call this the reality choice. Let's be realistic is what I call it. But the truth is, we don't like the truth. Oh, but we sometimes love the truth about everybody else, but we don't like the truth about ourselves. And, and it's kind of like a whole lot, uh, it feels a whole lot like it's safer to avoid the truth about yourself. Because why? It is painful to face your own truth. Uh, it feels a whole lot safer again, what I say? To avoid the truth about yourself. Because that's painful to face. But it also says the truth will set you free. But first, it makes you miserable when you realize what needs changing in your life. Do you hear that? Truth sets you free. That sounds good. Oh, but then what? It makes you feel miserable when you realize what you've got to change in your life. Now, the good news is your habits and your hurts and your hang-ups can be healed. Oh, there's a flip side. It goes back to what we talked a little bit about earlier. The bad news is it takes humility. You got to humble yourself and swallow your pride. And James 4, 6 said this, God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Again, God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. There are some facts that you need to admit about yourself if God is going to bless your life. Can you guess what the first one? The first one is this. Guess what? You're broken. If you have hurts, habits, and hang-ups, you're like a chipped glass. We are broken. Oh, and this is probably not new to you. We live in a world that is broken, uh, where nothing works perfectly. The economy doesn't work perfectly. Did you ever notice that? Our relationships don't work perfectly. And boy, I'm finding out this one a lot as I'm getting older. My body doesn't work perfectly. Does it seem like everybody is confused today? They don't know what they're supposed to be or what they're supposed to do. We're confused about what? Attitudes things we should be attracted to and how we're attracted to things. And of course, we're actually confused about our addiction sometimes. We sometimes forget about it being a disease. 
And what? Like most disease, we have to do something about it. That's why you're in this program. It's a medically assisted treatment program. And we also offer the drug counseling. We offer the spiritual counseling. That's why you're here listening to me today. But here's the great thing about it. We have to be ourselves. And when we're ourselves, and you understand yourselves, you understand you got some brokenness. And the coping skills we deal with for this brokenness, these hurts, habits, and hang-ups, good coping skills, bad coping skills. And you know, addiction is not the only bad coping skills. How about overeating? How about just being unhumble, self-centered? Well, one of the things is I used to hear a lot is about being having humility. That was a tough one for me. But I started want, learning that when you have humility, you have God's grace. And it comes hand in hand. So these hurts, these habits, the, these hang-ups that led to these coping skills, which uh, we picked up on the bad side, which became our addictions. But they're also the good coping skills. That's what we learned in the game plan. I've witnessed it so many times in my life. We're being humble leads to grace you know and grace helps you accept you as you are imperfect as you are but guess what from that imperfectness we learn how to take care of ourselves and we have realized that again these pains help us identify our purpose to help other people who are going through the same thing we're going through Let's pray. God, we'll just take a moment to give you thanks. Thank you for allowing us to look at choices that we need to make in our lives that keep from hurting us. And more importantly, it's, it's not a hard formula. We simply just have to recognize that we're imperfect and accept it and get out of denial. We hear that all the time. First, first few steps we admit we got what? We got some brokenness. We also recognize that when we do, that your grace will help us confront it, look at it, and it's during our game plan. Start working on it. Replacing bad addictions with good addictions. And thank you. Amen. All right. I want to remind you, these podcasts are stored on our YouTube site, YouTube Start Mute. And we also have live weekly uh, meetings. Uh, my meetings at 12 o'clock on Tuesday. Uh, Sue and Lisa have a live meeting on Wednesday at 12.15. And Sue has a Thursday evening meeting at 7 o'clock. I mean, excuse me, 6 o'clock. So, please join us. And again, like you said, if you missed it, uh, go to our YouTube site. Uh, and from all of us at Start Butte, I'm Pastor Fred. And again, have a great week. Amen.